Hi there, and welcome to, well, a rather unexpected late night at Lowe's Review. Now, I was asked the other day, what are these cheese puffs you're always on about uh, for little snacks? Well, I've reviewed them already, but we'll always see what I have. And uh, they all come from Blazing Foods, uh, and I absolutely love them. They're great tasting, but various, the variation of heat goes up and down, depending on which one you like. Uh, I like them all, so from low to high. And um, I know Pia has been doing some crisps review, and he's been trying to find out different heat levels. And I've recommended that he tries these. I would love to send them down to him. So if you are watching, Pia, let me know if you'd like these, and I'll get them down to you. So, what do I have? Well, one that I'm eating now is the, the Ranch Cheddar Habadero. So there you can see them all there. And they're just like a normal, everyday cheesy puff. Right? You then have the Ghost Pepper Ranch. And as you can see how much is in there. It's about £6 a bag. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, and you can get them from Mac Chili as well. Delivered to you. Next up, you have the Can of Reaper. There they are there. And I say, look at how much is in that bag. That's a great offer. And the new one that I got was the Seven Pot Primo Lemon Pepper Triple X. Alright? Hot, as they called it. So that was it. So, and I'll get them out of here. I'll so see them. Yes, I'm not going to review them again. I've done them already. I'm not going to open them all up. And there you have it. There. It's a normal, like, cheesy puff. Great flavour. And I eat them as an everyday snack. They're not a challenge product, they're just a snack. And honestly, well, well worth the money. And I say, that's a habanero. And you get a little bit of a tingle off, tingle off them, so that's it. The ghost pepper is the next one up. Right. Again. As I say, I don't mind opening them because they disappear rather quickly. And there you have it. Just the same. very hard to put down once you start. I would honestly finish a bag of these in one sitting. That's how good they are. Get a level. Still not ready for by Spectre. If you're a non chill head, I reckon you would start, you really start feeling it from these ones. Next up is the Can of Reaper ones. You get a different flavour from them as well. Now they're all ranch um, type things. Again, just the same. Great flavour. Very, very addictive. So, how's that one? Now the new one that I've got my hands on. So I'm all sealed back up. Was the seven, the seven pot Pimo lemon pepper triple XL? These ones open up. Now, what he did notice with these ones <coughs> straight away was the difference in colour. Okay, 
That was right off the bat. <coughs> Mind it does. <coughs> the way you found these ones, definitely a step up in the heat. Like I said in my original video, when you've done the, the six hot ball challenge for Blazing Foods, that is what that was putting me in my mind of with the heat for the very first ball. Again, great flavour, highly addictive, and hard to put down. Thought. But when it came to flavour, no issues at all. Great taster. You were getting that ranch flavour right away. When it comes to heat, the habanero, very, very, very light sting. The ghost was roughly about the same for me. Kind of can of reaper, kind of matched in with the other two, eh, sorry, the other two, but now you get that seven pot primo, the triple XL, or a triple X hot, sorry, um, definitely you feel the burn with that one. Not uncomfortable, um, I reckon if you eat a whole bag of them. Which I haven't done yet. Try to love it myself. Um, you've been getting a great burn in the mouth. But that to me is when I do the, the six hot ball challenge. How it burns the mouth. Same idea. You can't fault them at all. So there's the three different, sorry, four different flavours. Now every one of them. I highly recommend go from low to the high heat. Uh, you'll find ones that will suit you. And that's like four bags from Blazing Foods. If you click on macchili.co.uk, he has them all in stock. That's where I get them. I'm thinking, I think they're about £6 a bag or something like that. And uh, go elsewhere, you pay a lot, lot more. But there you go. Hope you've enjoyed this one. Uh, let you all know what I do with the, the cheese puffs. Um, I love them. Better than crisps. And I'll tell you what. Better than heat as well. They're not telling porkies. That's for sure. I'll see you all later. Bye.